Back to our Anunnaki telenovela, the history on planet Nibiru. The stories no one told you before. Some Anunnaki tea, anyone? Okay, so we're finally at the point where Alalu shows up in the history. Alalu was actually the first one to come to Earth. He was the first one to be adventurous and launch himself in this voyage to Earth. So let's get back to the story. The first person to take arms was a prince in the royal palace. By making promises, he stirred up all the other princes. His name was Alalu. Lamu shouldn't be king, he yelled. Let decision surpass hesitation. Lamu should not be king anymore. Let's scare the king where he lives, he said. Let's leave his throne empty. He is riling up all of the other Anunnaki princes to get rid of his king. And the princes listened to what he said. And they all ran to the palace gates together. They went like rushing water to the throne room, which had a small entrance. Alalu was after the king. Lamu the king at this point ran to hide up into the palace tower. Alalu chases Lamu up to the tower and a huge battle between them start. Alalu had the best of Lamu, and Lamu fell to his death. No more Lamu, Alalu called out. Alalu ran to the throne room and sat on the throne as quickly as he could. Now, right now, I want to take a time out and talk about this. Has anyone else noticed all of the similarities with the TV series and books Game of Thrones? Because the way I see it, it is the exact same plot. The writer changed a little bit of the story and the people in them, but the story is the same. The war between North and South, the king that they were trying to dethrone, I believe that the writer got his inspiration from these Anunnaki stories. What do you think? In the next video, we will see if Alalu becomes king now.